As we reflect on the rich tapestry of moments woven together to create PDS as we know it today, we're reminded of the visionary leaders, dedicated educators, and countless families who have entrusted their boys to this institution. A place where Christian values are instilled, minds are enlightened, and character is forged. Our commitment to academic excellence, moral integrity, and compassionate service remains unwavering. The essence of PDS lies not only in its academic excellence, but also in the bonds of friendships formed, the lessons learned outside the classroom, and the collective spirit that unites us all. As we commemorate this milestone, we honor the legacy of PDS, and with our mission of striving to glorify God by developing boys in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man, we take a holistic approach to education, nurturing the heart, soul, mind, and body of each boy. We hope you enjoy this look back at PDS's impact over 75 years. PDS was the first place that I gained confidence, and that was due to the fact that there was a standard, there was a right and wrong. And it was a really nurturing place to succeed. So work ethic was kind of imbued in everything that we did because there was a standard. So I love that about PDS. Most people are probably going to be getting a lot of their values from their family and their friends. And I was very fortunate on that front. I have a great family, great friends. Uh, but a lot of those friends I met at PDS. And then PDS did a wonderful job of just instilling a don't cut corners, just always do the right thing type attitude. Get your work done. Show up not just on time, but a little early. And keep going during the hard stuff. And, uh, you know, that was something I definitely left PDS with. The value of integrity was drilled in me from a very early age, and that really meant more than anything always doing the right thing, telling the truth. I just think PDS is, they've got it figured out. I think the, the entire PDS experience is, is very enriching, enriching in friends, enriching in education, um, relationships. I think specifically being able to thrive in that environment then gave me the confidence that I could thrive elsewhere as well. Uh, you know, the teachers, faculty preach confidence and the power in the individual to um, overcome challenges. The importance and the, the need for confidence in, in any endeavor is, is paramount. And so having that foundation here, leading me on to higher education, being grounded and feeling as if I was prepared for those experiences, um, I think played a pivotal part in the success I've been able to have. PDS gave me a foundation uh, to be successful. Um, for really the rest of my life, and, uh, and, and I'm forever grateful for that. In general at PDS, I felt encouraged and loved by all the teachers here. They would never leave you to go on your own. If you're ever confused or needed help, they'll always be there for you, and I've always felt that way. One of my favorite classes was Ms. Richards' reading time because she would use these funny voices and read us books that would make me laugh and make my day better. One thing that I've learned from PDS that's really important is friendships. Uh, it's important because it's good to have good friendships and PDS really helps you develop those and make you feel well known and you feel like people are really kind to you. and that you won't have many friendships that are very distant. All of them are mainly strong. What year is that from? 1958. Lee McQueen was the coach and Thurston Moore was on the team and Barron Ray and Frank Tennant and uh, Fred Goldsmith and Sloan Young. I mean, Sloan I played basketball with later on. And, PDS started it all, and uh, I was here from kindergarten through the sixth grade. You know, my friends that I made at PDS are friends for a lifetime. 
the, the folks that are my best friends today were my best friends at, at, at PDS. So it's had a remarkable influence on my life. At PDS, at such a young age, you're forming your first friendships. You're, for the first time, learning what a brotherhood is. And I think with that kind of comes this responsibility of learning what it means to be selfless. And you know, that's a characteristic very clearly ingrained in the PDS curriculum. And I think that PDS really put meaning to what it means to be unselfish and really just trained me to have an outward perspective on life. I was thinking back over the years is when I accepted Christ, I was a student at PDS. And remember vividly, Mary Sharp, Mrs. Sharp was my teacher. Mr. Fox was the headmaster or the principal. I remember telling them what I had done the next day at recess and how exciting and encouraging they were to me. But that, you know, that was that's the, probably the most transformative event in life. But it occurred when I was here. And I think that the, certainly the environment here is a Christian environment that nurtures and encourages and the, the school is has this nurturing Christian influence that I'm proud of, that I think in a world we're in today, they're unwavering to be in an environment where you have a nurturing school that is also encouraging in every way is unique. I do think that the teachers here teach from a Christian perspective, and I think that's a very kind and forgiving and loving perspective, and that's how you live your life, and you do things the right way, and you're kind to other people, you help other people, and I think that's straight out of the gospel. So I, I really think that's important. I love the fact that they still do that in this day and age. I'm a strong believer, my boys are believers. I want them to continue to be, uh, to feel that way and to learn more and more about Christianity and about Jesus. And I like that they will learn that at a young age. I think it's important. So here we are 75 years from the beginning of Presbyterian Day School and one thing that is held true through those 75 years is that the trustees, the teachers and the administration have honored the only mission statement that we have and that is striving to glorify God by building boys in wisdom and statue and favor with God and man. Think about that, 75 years. That's a legacy worth continuing for another 75 years. My hope for the next generation of PDS graduates is that they continue to excel the way they have for the last 75 years. Look at the legacy of our former students, our alumni, and where they are in the world today, whether it's leading a Fortune 500 company or one of the largest hedge funds or starting new businesses. We want to continue that excellence that they get academically as well as a well-rounded education in other forms so they can be the kind of leaders that we need in this city, in this state, and in this country.